everybody welcome back to another edition of the ecostructure machine expert training i'm your host leandro mada and in this video we're going to talk about the save archive project that we have in the ecostructure machine expert so let's go so this is the project that i'll be working with you and we saw that we had the possibility to save the project uh, save project and save project us okay in a specific location in our laptop once you do that, you have this, okay? You have the, the name of the project that you have, dot .project, which is the extension for the application, okay? That have your code. But we also have this file and project archive, okay? To serve the archive project. So here, this is a um, more extensive save that I recommend you to do it when you want to transfer your project to another laptop or to another colleague to open your application because this project archive includes more information rather than just the code of the PLC. It has the, the configuration for the libraries that you're going to use and the libraries also that you want to share with another colleague the eds file you can also add those files over there to be installed in another laptop okay and the characteristics of the libraries and the devices that you are have in your project so this is good so for example if you go here you can see visualization profiles an option but i don't have anything here because i haven't added any controller so let's add just a quick controller over here we're going to see that later Add device. I'm going to select from this list over here. Logic controller. Let's start with this one. Add device. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, and let's add to the library just to show you this. Uh, there is a library for Twido, for example. Twido, if I'm wrong, should be over there. Twido emulation support. So we're going to add this library over here. Okay, so now let's try this project archive. So say archive project. And here you can see, okay, they have different stuff. Okay, these are the libraries that came from the project. As you can see over here. Okay, all the libraries, the reference devices, I have the N251 over there. So if you add more information, this is very useful. Okay, you also have the possibility to add more files, for example, the EDS or another library that you have. This is good to have. So if we save this on the same, okay, same location, you can see over here that I have the project archive and in order to use the project archive I just need to go over here file project archive external archive training over here open and you also have the possibility to save it in another location or in the same one okay so here you can see the items and everything that you have inside okay you have the same location or you can try it another way and you can see all this okay so this is basically the project archive so if you want to share the project probably if you have something special in the project software something else like eds or a special leverage you have made i recommend you to share the project archive rather than the only the project that you have okay so this is it for this part just a, a quick explanation about the archive file Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.